Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we are going to perform uh, solid modeling, which is in uh, Cartier Access book. To start with it, initially uh, go to Part Design by clicking File New and Part. And after entering into Part, uh, you can select uh, any of the axes as you wish and click on Sketch option. Initially, uh, for drawing any part. You should first sketch a front view, and the basic line uh, of the front view has a dimension of 180 mm. And you can generate lines uh, by using profile command. And after generating a line with the help of profile, uh, you can give dimensions with the help of constraint, which is present at the right. And to change the dimensions of the line, uh, you can double click on it and type the required dimensions. And similarly, by using uh, the profile command and constraint command, sketch the front view of the part. And the main important thing is that uh, while drawing a solid modeling, the dimensions are very important and in case of uh, Cartier access book, all the dimensions will not be given. We will be in the position to calculate some of the dimensions I am mentioning in the uh, sketch. And we can also uh, generate lines by using line command. And the main difference between profile command and line command is that in profile command, uh, with the help of it, we can generate continuous lines, whereas uh, by using line command, we cannot generate uh, continuous lines. So, in most of the cases, uh, the profile command is more uh, comfortable uh, as it is producing uh, continuous lines. And now uh, there's, a, there's a quadratic circle which is the radius of 28 uh, millimeter. So uh, to generate a quadratic circle, you can use the option called arc which is uh, present under the circle commands.
line uh, to coincide this line and a curve we can use uh, coincident constraint initially uh, by pressing control button uh, select two points and click on coincident constraint uh, to join the both so the purple color indicates that uh, the sketch is over constrained so when the sketch is over constrained I cannot perform uh, any operations so the front view of the solid modeling is done and uh, we can uh, convert it to 3D by using pad command and the pad length is given as 70mm so by changing the length of the pad you can generate uh, solid modeling of a front view sketch and the next step is that uh, to pocket uh, some of the parts and the main difference of pad and pocket commands is that the pad command is used to add mass and the pocket command is used to remove masses And again uh, with the help of profile and constraint commands uh, we can generate a line and constraint it accordingly The blue line indicates that uh, the line is uh, straight and correct. and the zoom in and uh, zoom out option is present at the bottom and with the help of it we can zoom in or zoom out the uh, solid modeling And as I said earlier, uh, all dimensions will not be given correctly. So, in such cases, uh, we should calculate the required dimensions with the help of the given, di given dimensions. And by calculating it, uh, we get a 26 centimeter line.
and the most important thing is that uh, to pad our pocket uh, any sketch it should be a closed profile or else it will not be uh, padded or pocket and the pocket option is present uh, below the pad option by which we can create uh, and we can uh, remove mass from the solid body and after this step uh, there is a circle uh, actually there is a semicircle present at the end of it uh, and radius of 15 uh, millimeter. So by selecting the surface, uh, we can draw a semicircle at a radius of 15 millimeter. Uh, when the radius is 15 mm, the diameter will actually be uh, 30 mm. And to create a semicircle, uh, we can do uh, we can select a reference line. And the main purpose of reference line is that uh, it is only for our reference, and it will not be considered as a perfect line. And the reference line uh, is indicated in uh, dotted, li dotted, dotted lines. And as I said earlier, uh, to create a pad or a pocket, the uh, sketch must be closely profiled. we created the semicircle. The next step is that uh, to pocket a circle which is at a diameter of 15 millimeter. So with the help of circle command and the pocket command uh, we can easily uh, pocket a circle. And now the circle uh, is placed at the center. And now with the help of pocket command, uh, we can easily remove the mass.
and the required uh, solid model has been obtained. And for more videos like this, do, sus do subscribe our channel Cat Gadgets. Thank you.